What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to our North Texas Mean Green Dynasty where I've been tinkering with the game because Drewski came back with a new UGF Pandas uh, series and I just wanted to dive into the game but I worked the last two days since he uploaded that. This is my first chance to record so I was tinkering off screen with some stuff. We still haven't signed any recruits but we're closing in on a bunch of them. So we'll go over that real quick before I go into some of the other little things that I was doing. Speed, big lead on them. I think we're safe, but I'm never going to be comfortable because I feel like we could pull in the top three and Ohio State could just like hit the gas. Although Penn State, I mean, we don't have a pipeline and they all have pipelines. Stoke is an interesting case here. So we're about to commit him, but SMU has a visit this week. I'm giving him 40 points. I'm just doing my hard sell. If SMU wins this week, they're probably going to sign him. And if they lose, we're going to sign him because they're going to get dinged. So 40 is really all I have to do. I don't have to offer him any other points. And I've been sort of dispersing them throughout. Lima, 45. I want to give him more, but it, I, I'm trying to stretch it a little bit at this point. Alves, I have to give him the full 65 SMU. We're tooth and nail. But they have their visit week 10. I'm not going to bother with visits. And we should have this wrapped up before we even get to theirs. So I'm not stressing it. Oh, the funniest thing with Alves is after last week, I don't know that I want another quarterback, but I guess I should probably have one like developing behind and not get stuck with a true freshman if the dynasty goes that long. Childers, I took his points away. I was just giving him 40, but I'm going to use them. You'll see in a minute who I'm using them on. But again, with Stoke, we should get those 40 points back so he'll get them. I'm not giving up on this guy. I'm just reallocating points for a minute. Knicks, uh, I'm just, I think the 40 might not be enough, but we're still pulling ahead of Arkansas, so maybe it's good enough. Peter, we just jumped up, but we're still early in his recruiting process. Lopez, again, he's down to the 40 because I need the points, but we've got a decent chunk lead now, so hopefully we can hold off a little bit. Woods, we just took the lead, jumped over everyone. We're going to have to offer him the whole 65. We can't hard sell him. We still don't have all his unlocks yet to even hard sell him. But, I mean, we've still got three A motivations. So hopefully those are going to work out. And then the reason I took points away was because we got Brett Dell here. Five-star left tackle. I don't necessarily need him, but he's still floating around on the board. But he's about to move into his top eight, so if I'm going to act, I'm going to act now. Why would I spend time on the four-star athlete who's going to be an offensive lineman who does not have guarantees of what like his um, his development trade is going to be? I'll go ahead for the five-star. I'm blind right now. I have no scouting done on either one of them, but I want... <laughs> I'm always looking to improve that offensive line and keep that thing going. So I figured I'd rather throw the points at him this week. And then hopefully the board clears up. Robinson's on here at cornerback. Like some of the four stars I'm not going after. He's zone. I don't think I want to bother with zone cornerbacks anymore. Because they're not helping me that much. There's other people here that were probably going to fall off the board. But even like this left end, I'm doing nothing with him. And we're just staying on the top of his board. I don't know how long we'll float around for. So I'm sure at one point we'll have to strip this away, but uh, it kind of doesn't matter because I'll also still have some room for the transfer portal if I need it. Also down here, I threw another middle linebacker. He's around. I, I don't have enough points off from a scholarship. I think that's going to wait for next week. I would like to move Big Papa Pump to right outside linebacker next year because I think that's traditionally more of a pass rush role and in the depth chart it looks like he spikes up. So if I can get a solid middle linebacker to take his place, or even next year, I might just move around who I've got at linebacker and figure out who fits where. But getting another middle linebacker would be good. And then Breeze, uh, he's the highest rated fullback as far as the, uh, the prospect list goes. Offered him a scholarship. Why not? I Both of our fullbacks that are on the roster obviously don't see the field much, but they're both pretty much capped out. They're a 74 and a 70. They're both the same class. I redshirted one just in case, but if I can cut the 70 overall and bring in the freshman, this way we can sort of stack it and keep it going. Now, as far as the depth chart goes, a couple changes here. Uh, nothing this far down, although I wonder if I should start DeMarco over Bunting as my backup. 
Or I guess I should just hope I don't need to worry about it. Halfback stays the same. Fullback, I, like I said, I redshirted Bostic down there just to stagger him a little bit. Uh, wide receiver, I don't know if I made changes. Angle, Chacon. Oh, I put uh, Turan here instead of Carnes because Carnes is a senior. Uh, Torrens, a uh, freshman who's redshirted, who's faster. So as much as Karn served me well, you're a redshirted senior. That's sort of it for you. Arsenault's down here because I looked at him. He's capped out, too. He's a 78 overall. He's never going to get any better. Unless I'm, like, misreading something. But he won't be going anywhere. And a Messer transferred in here, and he's not even... He's wide receiver 7. Uh, tight end's the same. Offensive line. The only thing I did was I took Vereen and made him the backup because he's got a good development trait. I think he's star, actually. So if I can have him get some experience and uh, be able to take over for Son one day, that would be nice. Defensive ends, it kind of doesn't matter. For some reason, the death chart swapped Miller and Boozer. I don't know why, but whatever. <laughs> it does that sometimes. So yeah, Boozer, you're, you're a left end playing at right end. Defensive line stays pretty much the same. Linebackers, I think, are the same. I'll be 100% honest. Homewood and Woodyard... I can't get them straight. I get them mixed up all the time. So I think they're right. But look, Big Papa Pump up to an 89 if he goes to left outside linebacker. He's an 82 at middle. Wazlowski's graduating, but I could slide Homewood. Like, I could just swap him with Big Papa Pump. And then on the right side, so it's Woodyard, Big Papa Pump 89 again. So I can swap Woodyard with no penalty and just put, or Homewood, one of the two, and put Big Papa Pump here and boost him up. And he's just a pass rusher anyways. Cornerback, uh, Bryce is now number five. Because that man coverage, 69 man coverage. And I'm going to play a lot more man. And, like, his zone is good. So we suck at zone to be sure, but uh, that's okay. Because I'm going to, you'll see with the relegation league, I'm going to go zone heavy with them and man heavy here, and I'm going to see what I like better. So we're going to go man heavy. Uh, free safety, no real change. Strong safety, no real change. Kicker, punter, yada, yada. Kick return, I didn't really pay attention. I had no idea who was returning kicks at the time. So uh, Turan is going to be our primary kick returner because he's got nothing else to really do. Chacon is actually, he's got better acceleration. Better change of, I changed my mind already. Chacon is going to be... Our kick returner. <laughs> nope, never mind. That changed direction everything. He'll go there. I mean, our third down back stays the same. Our power half back stays the same. Our slot receiver, I put sides in here. I don't know if he's going to have to come off the field. I don't know how that's going to work, but obviously, yeah, he's going to be the best on the roster at slot receiver. And our rush left end, it's still going to be Wozlowski. It's still going to be Big Papa Pump. I ran some practice because I wanted to see what our running plays were. I wanted to look at, like, stretch. I wanted to look at some tosses and stuff like that. We, we basically only have inside and outside zone. And in the Wildcat. That's, like, our running game. So, uh, there ain't, ain't a lot of options. But running at Big Papa Pump. I don't know how he doesn't have 100 sacks this year. He's got five and a half through three games. And I'm surprised he doesn't have 100 because he's unstoppable. I should probably switch him to defensive line full-time. But I think it works better here. Uh, rush D tackle, pretty much the same. And then sub linebacker, I put Anderson. Our, I can't remember if he's star or if he's just impact strong safety, who's obviously not starting for us anymore. Because Staley was doing that for us, and he's not bad. He's making some plays. But Anderson's got better development, so I might as well just put him here. Uh, we got Black at our slot cornerback. He needs to develop, but he's got that star development. As good as Stroud is, Stroud's my number two now. So, just some tinkering here and there. But now we're playing Auburn, who I believe is going to be the best team we play. I don't remember our other out of conference. We have the best overall in the ACC right now. And we've also played NC State and Syracuse, who are number two and three pretty much. Miami's 85 straight through. So we're all kind of neck and neck at the top, but we're technically the best overall team in the ACC. Auburn, 86, 86, 87. Again, like, it could be skewed with one or two really good players. I don't think it's going to be that easy. We are playing at Auburn. I don't remember the name of their stadium. Sorry. Sorry, Drewski. 
Um, but I, I'm not 100% confident. It would be funny if we go 0-2 in the SEC. I have no intentions of uh, North Texas going to the SEC in this dynasty, by the way. So I'm not really worried how they do. I've got, uh, I know what the final season's going to be. I've already got that one mapped out. I just don't know how many more seasons this is going to go for. I don't think we're winning the Natty this year anyways, but I'm hoping we perform well enough where Ronnie Bass, I get more weeks like last week, and his development skyrockets and he gets to like a 90 overall. And if he hits that for next season, I think next year is Natty or bust. But for now, let's just take on Auburn. Again, rematch of the first ever bowl game in the channel's history. We pulled off a big upset there. It wouldn't be as big of an upset here. I don't know how that stadium pulse is going to work, and that might be the killer. Toughness thing 23. Okay, so not... I mean, it, it's bad, but it's not as bad as it could be. And I made the wrong read, because I forgot how the read option worked again, because I haven't run them in a little bit. And sides got caught up on all the blocks. Oh, I had some... That's one of the plays I ran in practice, was the sprint out smash there. I had angle open, and just the pocket collapsed on me, and we're going to have to punt it away. And our special teams, still abysmal, and they're inside the 40. I shed off the block, but it was not in time. Bad tackle by Stroud there. There we go. At least we got him to second down. That's an improvement. <laughs> Oh, all right. Homewood and Woodyard blowing up the last two plays. Third and goal. I'm still going to bring the heat. I feel like it could be a pass, but I'd rather get burned on that. Yep, there it goes. And they threw it short. Stroud with a good tackle. They're going to go for it. Oh, he spun. Oh, I, I thought Bolin had him, but he spun right through. In for the touchdown. That's unfortunate. Man coverage on Wilkerson, and it was, uh... If I wasn't on that hash, he would have taken that back upfield. Third and four, but I got this little angle route with sides. Middle linebacker blitz meant he was wide open. Enough for the first down. All right, chains are moving. Let's keep going. Hey, after I said Arsenault is not really worth it anymore. Big first down catch for him. Good run. And then a fumble. But Angle falls on it. Okay. I think I'm going to not... Okay. So sides back out here. The problem is I like running out of a three receiver set a lot. And he's, uh, <laughs> he's going to be playing out of position. Which is not great. That that was not an accurate pass right there. See their sides. I guess it'll keep them fresh. Oh my god, the zone. <laughs> it is getting... Like, we're torching them on those now. I'm gonna go back to a screen pass here real quick and see if it works. Okay, he recovered well. It hit him in the head. Wide open. That angle route is just lethal. I wasn't looking anywhere else. As soon as I saw everyone sprint, I knew what the play was. With the quickness, I'm like, they all went sprinting the other way. I'm like, that wheel route is going to have no one near him if I throw it quick. Big blitz. Sides just runs around it right in for the touchdown. There, that's the kind of drive we need. The draw play. Oh, he's... Oh my god, this guy's dangerous. That was almost blown up for a TFL. And then he went back the other way. And that spin move. Definitely. Whew, it's going to be a fun day of tackling. There we go. He only gets four that time. He's just like... He's... Uh, the ball carrier vision, man. There we go. I got him. Oh, well, well... I mean, at least I slowed him down. Can you pass the ball some more? We have a better chance if you... There you go. See? Look at how much better it goes for us when he passes it. 
There's a flag down. Uh, Cherry. Come on, man. Come on. Not when we get the stop. <laughs> okay, that's better. And the first quarter tied at seven with Auburn, but they're in field goal range. Oh, nice quick pass there. All right, yeah. Second and seven. I'm okay with a shootout, but... Was he... Okay. Um, can I get a replay? I feel like he was running before the ball was snapped, but he might have been, like, full sprint as soon as that center let that ball go. He's also allowed to be in motion. It wasn't anything illegal, just I wasn't expecting it. Nice blitz. I'm gonna spin with Wilkerson until it works, and that'll be never. And the first down, and we keep it moving. Okay, the big blitz, it wouldn't have been a factor, except uh, that, that block did not happen. If that block was held by 74, if Robledo holds that, sides is like... 20 yards downfield. Wilkerson hangs on. Thank God. I was paranoid. I'm like, please, this is as open as you can possibly be on this play. All right, third and 10. What is their play here? Uh, my play is actually going to be putting you... Sides going to wheel route. I know you're winded, but I'm going to need you upfield. Yeah, that wasn't... I was hoping that Wilkerson was going to get a step there, and he couldn't, and... <sighs> that's, uh, that's not good. There we go. All right. No gain on that. There we go. Bowl... Oh, oh I keep getting three and four backwards. Bowling is three. Palomalu is four. All right, well, huge play. Good TFL. He's going to launch it downfield. Stroud, can he make a play on the ball? Nope. No, he can't. That's the problem with Stroud. He's kind of short. <laughs> He's not going to be stopping them. Palomalu getting the TFL now. Oh. <laughs> we had uh, we had Black coming out on a blitz. And he, he just did a little step back cheese. I'm so mad we had that big long play and Stroud gave up the... Long completion. And down for the sack, and there's Boozer. They'll definitely get the field goal here, but at least uh, they're not going to have the chance to go for it. That was a good effort there by Evans. I thought that was blown up again. There we go. And takes it out of bounds. So we get one more play before the two-minute warning. Or is it going to run? It's going to run. Never mind. He caught it? I wasn't even paying attention. That That's first down. I just wanted to test, see if the scramble would work, and it's not. Wow. That guy went the other way. Sides just all by himself. Good spin move. And we're down to the 10. I saw a try. Oh, I kind of thought I had this. I saw a triangle, but I, I didn't want to take the risk. Yeah, like that. That probably was supposed to be me dropping back, and that's why I don't want to play zone coverage. But coach is calling nothing but zone coverage. Perfect. Yeah, you can have that. Alright, third and four. Uh, Starling, I just don't even know what to tell you. I'll be 100% honest, I think I like zone better already. <laughs> I think... I... Oh, I thought I baited him, and I was not as quick as I thought I was. The run's on the table here. 
Did I not have help on that one? I guess I didn't. Wow. Well, I okay, our linebackers can't cover worth a crap, so that's a problem. Well, there's 22 seconds, we got all three timeouts, and we have Kirk Angle. Who I don't even think is a target yet. Look at how much they're pressed in here, though. Wow! He had the release on that one. Oh, they're not gonna give me that again. Oh, I got hit. Angle again, he was about to get wide open. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'll just take a sack, though, if it comes down to it. 50-50 ball? Oh, we almost had that one. Oh, well, okay. Apparently that punt killed the rest of the half. So going to the halftime, down 24-14 to Auburn. <laughs> Big Papa Pump blowing that one up. They got like one yard on that. Wow. I run one play in zone coverage. We can't stop them on third down. They're eating us, like, even if we're getting stops on first and second, they're eating us alive on third down. Like, there we go, that's a good one. Failed screen pass for him. Starling, come on. Stroud, come on. Like, these are guys, like, they're supposed to be good at man, and they're getting beat every time. Coach is going thunder smoke. He's, he's tired of it. We've got uncovered receivers out here. Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> the user strip sack! Okay! Big Papa Pump. <laughs> he's so good! I've, I've had some tremendous linebackers on this channel. Big Papa Pump might already be my favorite. He's so... Oh my god. That's kind of what Big Papa Pump looked like, actually. You know what the problem is today? You know what they're shutting down? Drag routes. I can't get those going at all. And now my team has no idea what play I'm running. Ronnie Bass trying to do it himself. It's fourth and one. I gotta go for this. And they're not gonna give it to him. This is what I mean. Like, I, I'd love to know. I gotta look at the overalls are. Because very clearly, we should be better than them. But our defense can't get a stop outside of... We force into one field goal, and Big Papa Pump is just an unstoppable monster. There he goes again. Is that two sacks for him today? He didn't have the third one, right? He's got two today. <laughs> Big Papa Pump is at seven and a half sacks, and we're not even... We're in game four. And... <laughs> the goat he is the goat he is oh my god he is so good he is so good three sacks today four he's at eight and a half on the season had to go all the way outside just to pick up the five yards there I am wondering if I should take sides out of the slot because he's like never my running back anymore. Wow. I saw that and I'm like, I probably shouldn't throw this. And I'm like, no, it'll be fine. And it wasn't fine. And I just undid all of the hard work that Big Papa Pump did. Hey, we're number nine in the country and I don't know why. I don't know why. We won't be after today. Nice blitz. Uh, uh, if that was sides, that's a that's a big catch. No, uh, it's freaking cherry. I'm going for it. We're on a 15. Never mind, I'm not going for it. The problem is we can't stop the run all day, and they're about to run the ball down our throats. All right, third and nine. Big Papa Pump lined up to block. Playing five wide. I am not a fan. I, oh, I almost got there for the user sack. There we go. Good run for sides. I don't know. He's got four attempts for eight yards. Because he hasn't been halfback. I, yeah, okay. That part of what I was tinkering with needs to stop. If he's not going to be our main halfback anymore. 
Kirk Angle on a drag route. Is that actually his first catch? That's his first catch today. That's his second catch today. Ooh, uh, oh, that's... Okay. That looked like it hurt. Oh, oh, I had square wide open. Now we're going for it. And they... Again, we're not getting... I gotta challenge that one. They didn't give us forward progress on that. Oh, because his, his thigh touched down right before. Right there. Damn. Still a worthy challenge. He, like, faked a block at the start of that instead of was running his route, which threw off my timing. And the first down. And in the third quarter, this one's getting away from us. Down 31-14 to Auburn. Big Papa Pump still cannot be stopped. <laughs> Five solo tackles, six TFLs, three sacks. Bolin getting a good tackle. I don't know if that counts as a TFL or just a stop. But now we're at third and 11. Play action, and he misses Mark. All right. Offense, I'm going to need you to put some plays together, though. And that was a terrible punt. Thank you. You never want to start with a throwaway. Um, Wilkerson go on a streak and maybe draw something away from Chacon. Never mind. That was perfect. He's probably... We're going to run a hurry up because he might have stepped out of bounds. He did not. Okay, cool. Shoot. Shoot. I didn't time that the way I thought. I was trying to throw it right in that little zone. But I've never run that play before. So I was a little unfamiliar with the route running and... Damn it. Damn, I couldn't get there. I should have dove. There we go. I just lined up that tackle horribly. I'm sorry, Big Papa Pump. You would have been better off without me. And I over-pursued again. So they pretty much... That's over now. Because we're down three scores. We're not getting this ball back. Even if we stop him here, it's going to be, what, the two-minute warning? Well. Now it's definitely going to be a two-minute warning before we get it back. And I over-pursued again. Yeah, all right. That's, uh, that's going to be ball game. Well, there. At least we get the Kirk Angle special. <laughs> At least we know we're getting one of them a game. All right, time to see if I can get two straight onside kicks. I'm going to assume not. Go low kick? I have no idea what I'm doing. He scooped it up with one hand. That was just disrespectful. Well, that's ball game because we don't have any timeouts. Just so many missed opportunities. Big Papa Pump just played one of the great games you'll ever see. And it didn't matter. <laughs> he single-handedly wrecking shop. And we rewarded him by throwing a pick six the other way. Alright, so final status on the day. Basco, 17-35, 280 yards, one touchdown and two picks. So not, not great. Rushing, Evans led the team with 45 yards on nine attempts. We got away from it. Sides at 5 for 6 and a touchdown. Bass 4 for 14 and a touchdown. Um, yeah, I gotta take sides out from being slot receiver. It didn't really benefit us too much. Receiving angle, 5 catches, 112 yards, and a 75-yard touchdown in garbage time. Sides at 5 for 73. He was great, but I feel like most of the stuff he did was when he was lined up in the backfield anyways. Wilkerson, 3 for 32. Chacon, 2 for 36. Artisano at 1 for 11. And Evans at 1 for 16. Should come with three drops because I kept throwing those drag routes and he got popped every time. So I'm not even mad about those. Robledo with four pancakes at least. So Bolin led the team with 13 tackles. Big Papa Pump with 10. Palomalu, Black, Stroud, Starling, seven apiece. Homewood and Anderson, five apiece. So Anderson, he stepped in and did pretty well in his role as a sub linebacker. Six TFLs for Big Papa Pump with three sacks. 
Wazlowski, Boland, Palomalo two apiece. Stroud, Woodyard, Homewood, Miller, Anderson, Boozer, and Starling also picking up TFLs. Boozer with the other sack. Anderson inside, swatting and passes, which is just, you don't want to see sides doing that. Big Papa Pump Ford is the fumble, and that was scooped up by Homewood. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. We just got to get better at, like, being away. Like, we are garbage on the road, and we're great at home. I know we played well against Syracuse, but they don't count. So, we are not ready for an SEC road game. That's what I've learned. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, I'm just, there's still glimpses. There's still opportunities. I'm going to go put sides back out of the slot wide receiver spot. And um, maybe I line up as like wide receiver four or five. Maybe I have him take Arsenault's spot. Because if I'm doing that, I'm probably not going to have a halfback in there. Maybe I'll do that. Get him involved out there somewhere without trying to get him killed. Evans was great today. Don't get me wrong. Evans was fine. But uh, sides should be the, the head honcho there. But that will wrap this one up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm out.